How to create a child theme in WordPress. In this video session, we're going to learn how to create a child theme in WordPress and do so step by step. When we log into our dashboard and when we look at the themes, currently we've got three themes to activate and use. In this video tutorial, I will be using 2015 as the parent theme. Surely you can use any theme and then create a child theme using the methods that I will show you. This URL is surely important to browse through because it tells us the best practices for creating child themes in WordPress. All you have to do, log in to your web hosting manager, find file manager, and then browse into public folder, wp-content folder, and inside that you will have a folder called themes. Currently you've got whatever themes that you have. Keep in mind that because WordPress pre-installs some themes to choose from, you can, if you don't use them, delete the old themes to maintain your website better. As you can see, now that I've deleted that, if I reload my dashboard, you will see that that will be gone. So, to create our child theme, WordPress tells us to follow this naming convention. And let's do that. Simply create a folder. Surely yours will be different if you are not using 2015 as the parent. At the end of the day, we are placing a hyphen and saying child. And within that folder, we need two very important files. One is called style.css. Now, style.css file is actually a required file for WordPress themes to work. And we also need another file, and let's call that functions.php. Remember, the parent theme will actually have these two files as well. But because we're creating a child theme, now we can actually customize our child theme by using all the styles from the parent, as well as tap into the functions of the parent as well. Now, for our child theme to work, we need to edit the style.css file and simply include some information. Let's paste that in there. I can name my child theme anything I want. And then you simply fill the details according to your child theme. What is very important is to keep an eye on this line here. Because what this is saying, in, in this example, it's saying, okay, I am a child theme, but who is my parent? And parent theme in this example is 2015. So if you're using another theme that's named different, then surely you need to make sure that this line matches the parent theme's name. So let's save that. Let's close that. And let's also add a block of code into functions.php. Now this is a PHP file, so therefore we have to make sure that the tags for PHP is placed in this file. Then all we have to do is grab this. Now, if for whatever reason that you ever run into trouble, you can actually grab this as well. This basically makes sure that the parent um, style um, also loads. In fact, they are doing the same thing. WordPress is saying, okay, if you, you know, run into any issues and so on, go and place this here as well. Okay? But let's just select this line of code 
This will include the parent style so that we can customize. Let's hit save changes. Now before I close this screen I want to show you another method for creating child themes. Early on or in fact even now you can actually import it but this is not the best practice. So if you are using this or you seen any other information telling you well you can import the styles don't use this method. Instead, always stick with the best practices. So, now let's close this because we've saved that. Now, we've got two files within our child theme. Now, when we browse into that folder, we'll see okay, we've got this and we've got two very important files at minimum required for our child theme to work. When I refresh the page on our dashboard, you will see now I have access to the child theme that I've just created. If I press on themes details, you see, let me make that quick change so that we can actually see exactly that it's working. Let me hit save, let me reload, you see it will change here as well. So we know the, the customization that we're making is actually being updated. And to include a screenshot for your theme, it is then just a matter of uploading an image file so that it will show here as well. Let me upload it so that we see. Yeah, I think I had one sample. Yes, let me just put that in there. That's being uploaded. And that's complete. Let me hit refresh and you see that image is also updated. Let me activate my child theme. Let me go and refresh my page. If I control U on my keyboard, you will see the styles are coming from my child theme now. I can fully customize my theme without touching the parent. Let's edit the styles to give entry content I think that is the body of that um, article let's give the background color background color let's make it green let me hit save changes when I refresh the page you can see our child theme is now working now before we finalize this video session Keep in mind that you may not be using 2015 as the parent theme, right? And yeah, if that's the case, if your theme, the parent theme that you will be using, depends on other styles to be loaded to function properly, then make sure they also are included as well. So if you ever run into trouble because you're using some different parent theme, just keep in mind. All the styles that um, your theme depends on has to be included and loaded as well. I thank you for learning with me and I'll talk with you in the next video session.